Hey guys, it's Omni Bread and Butter, and welcome back to another video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the new microphone. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference or not, but yeah, guys, I got a new mic. But today, guys, what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to make a step by step tutorial on making this spruce cabin. I'm not gonna go inside just yet, so it's gonna be kind of like a surprise. I actually did do the interior, but you guys will see that at the end. Right now, guys, I'm gonna teach you a step by step on tutorial on how to make it. So, guys, let's get straight into the video. So, first of all, this is how you want to start off. This is the doorway right here, these two blocks. And then, like, okay, you can put these two blocks, and then you skip four blocks, turn, skip three blocks, place a block. Okay, I'm just going to let you guys eyeball it. I'm not going to um, voice over everything. You guys can just eyeball it. This is the side of the building. So there's the side. There's the back. Sorry if you guys can hear my chair. Like, this, like, leads up with the door. And here's the other side. And here is the front again. If you guys didn't catch all of that, go ahead and rewind the video and pause it. I'm not going to try to say that too much, but I kind of do get carried away. If you guys ever get, like, lost or you're just confused, just rewind the video and find out what happened and just, like, redo it. So, guys, there's the front again, and you place this block right here lined up with these to the door. Like, this, the, these two right here are the door. You guys get it. So, guys, there's step one. Let's go to step two now. Step two is putting in the flooring and, yeah, basically... This could have been on the first, very first step, but it was going to be simple. It's going to be more easier if I made that a different whole step. So, guys, here's step two. You guys can just eyeball it between these two, um, between the, what's this called? Spruce wood. You put cobblestone and inside you put, um, <laughs> dark oak planks. Sorry, guys, I'm getting confused. You don't have to use dark oak planks for flooring, but that's what I decided to do. And you put these two right here for a staircase or for the entrance to the house. So I guess I'll fly around. Here's the front. You guys can pause if you want to. Here's the side. It's pretty simple, but you know, I just have to do it for some people. Here's the back. Okay, go ahead and pause if you want to. Here is the other side. Oh, sorry, I ran into a block. And here is the front again. So guys, we're about to move on to step three. Let's go to step three right now. So guys, this is um, framing the entire building with the wood logs. So guys, this one's a little more, um, it's pretty simple when you do it, but it's tricky to show it. You go up from like, from what that is, you go up one, two, three, and then four. You go up four blocks tall, and you make a frame about every single one. Like you go up four blocks, and then you connect it to the other one. And you do it like this, where um, at the very, each corner, like that corner, that corner, that corner, and this corner, oops you make it go over on both sides right here excuse me sorry and i'll show you the front sorry guys i will show you the side i will show you the back and i will show you the other side and for this one i'll give you an overhead view so you guys can see inside this one right here like where this little cross section is you go over and then you go over again and then you make the pillar on the inside. So guys, that was step three. Now let's go on to step four. Step four is actually getting the walls up in the windows. And guys, we're actually already about to be over at the video. It's a pretty easy cabin to make. So guys, within these walls right here, over the cobblestone, you put a whole entire box of spruce and inside the spruce you put glass. It's pretty simple to explain. That's what you do on the side. Oh, sorry. I'm caught in the box. That's what you do on the side. This is what you do on the back. And right here where the door is on the front, you just fill it in with normal um, spruce planks. And here is the other side. And here is the front again. I'll get you an overhead view now because there are some things you haven't seen yet. You put a wall right here where the cross section is, like over that cobblestone. You put a wall right there. And then in here, you can put two um, spruce uh, wood stairs. Like that. That's how I like it. And guys, that was step um, four. And let's move on to the final step. The final step is basically adding a roof. But guys, on this final step, I actually fully um, interiored the house. Like I put everything in it. What it would look like if you guys made it. Or you guys can make it completely different. I just done it as an example. So guys, on the roof, you just grab slabs and you go over like this. Like you go over these um, woods popping out. 
and you go all the way around and then after you're done with that you get a block of spruce and then you go over these right here it's kind of hard to explain like the wood post and then after that sorry i placed way too much after that let's do like this after that you get a wood slab a spruce wood slab you go over and then you just fill it in like that you just fill in the entire roof like that the reason why we did that is because it's a half slab and mobs can't spawn on it so it's like a, a double win so guys i'm gonna show you the interior of the house now i actually done a little like tree decorating and stuff in a little path so guys i'm actually really happy how the interior came out if you go to the left automatically you have this like little furnace room and this anvil with the crafting table and then if you turn around you have this mini chest room in the center here i actually got rid of one of the flooring and put a sea lantern but you guys don't have to do that if you don't want to oh it's starting to rain guys let me get rid of that so you guys don't have to hear that and this is how i done the chest design you guys can just look at the walls and copy if you want to i just have the armor straight in the dead straight in the middle i'm sorry over here i have a, a picture frame of a clock in the picture frame of the map that took a while to do you guys the sub please lol <laughs> and i didn't hide for fun and guys over here is our bedroom i don't know why i added this it's just me personally i like having multiple crafting tables because i'm lazy and i don't want to walk an extra 10 blocks and over here here's a bedroom with your like chest where you hold the diamonds or something your ender chest and this trap chest or this trap chest i'm sorry this trap um door right here you can make it go down and you guys can have like a basement so you guys can do whatever you want you obviously don't have to have that but i didn't want to make that for this video i'm just saying like if you guys want an enchantment table or a bigger storage room you guys can do that so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions comment down below if you actually like the video guys please like the video and yeah guys that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the new mic i really do enjoy it the cool fact about this mic i actually spent the youtube money i got my first paycheck from youtube it went into this mic which i me personally i think that's pretty cool but once again guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i could see you guys in the next video and that's about it guys Bye bye